Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Vishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 10 of half yearly, okay? And our SW number will be 6. I repeat, our SW number will be 6. My dear student, when, we, when you do your SW, you must give your SW number at the left corner of the page, okay? So, my dear student, our today's topic is chapter 3. Today's topic is chapter 3. From page number 13, we shall solve question number 3 as your CW. I repeat, from page number 13, or problem number 3 will be your CW, okay? And from page number 19, exercise 3, word problem number 2 and 5 will be your SW. My dear student, please notice, word problem number 2 and 5 is just similar as question number 3 of page number 13. Okay, if you can solve word problem number 3, then you can easily solve word problem number 2 and 5 of page number 19. So, my dear student, this is your EMB book, okay, and open page number 13, open page number 13 and odd problem number 3, which I have already written on the board. So, here the total price of 6 chairs and 4 tables is 9570 taka, the price of one chair is 625 taka. What is the price of one table? Dear student, notice we need to find out the price of one table. But you notice the first information is total price of six chairs and four tables is 9570. And the price of one chair is given which is 625 taka. So, we need to find out the price of on table. My dear students, when we need to solve a odd problem, at first we need to make a plan. If we can make a plan, then it is easier for us to solve this math. So, here the price of one chair is given. So, from this information, we can find the price of six chair. So, the price of one chair is 625 taka. So, the price of 6 chair is what? We multiply this 625 by 6 and we get a number. Now, from the total price of 6 chair and 4 tables, we subtract the price of 6 chair. Then we get the price of 4 tables. After that, from that 4 tables, we can easily find out the price of on table by dividing that number by 4. Okay? So, let us try to solve this math. If we solve this math, then it is easier for you to understand. So, first of all, what problem number 3? Which is on page number 13. Here, given the price of one chair is 625 taka, right? The price of one chair is 625 taka. Therefore, the price of 6 chairs is 625 is multiplied with 6 taka. Now, we do multiplication here. 6 5 jar 30 carry 3. 6 2 jar 12 plus 3 15. From 15, I write here 5, carrying 1, 6, 6, 36, 36 plus 1, 37, taka. My dear students, for your better understand, I repeat it, 6, 5, 30. From 30, I write here 0, carrying 3, 6, 2, 12, 12 plus 3, 15. From 15, I write here 5, carrying 1, 6, 6, 36 plus 1, 37, taka. It is the price of six chairs okay so now we shall write the total price of the total price of six chairs 
and four tables is is nine thousand five hundred seventy taka. Okay. Now here we write the price of six share. The price of six shares is three thousand. Seven hundred and fifty taka. After that, we do subtraction. Okay, then we get the price of four tables. Four tables is zero zero. If we subtract five from seven, then we get two. Now again, we subtract. Seven from five, but five is smaller than seven, so we take this is fifteen. Now we subtract seven from fifteen, and we get eight. Carry on. That one is added with this three. It will be four. Now four to nine, it will be five. Okay, five thousand eight hundred twenty taka is the price of four tables. But the student, the question asks you to find out the price of one table so from this information we can easily find out the price of one table now right now the price of four tables is 5820 taka therefore the price of one table is we do division five eight two zero divided by four taka dear student notice if you cannot do division in this line you must show here the division procedure four five eight two zero four on the four carrying four on the four subtract 4 from 5 we get 1, 18. In 18, 4 goes in 4 times. 4 4 jar, 16. Then 2 and 2. 4 5 jar, 20. We subtract and we get 2, 0. So 4 5 jar, 20. So my dear student, for, uh, 1455. 1455 taka is the price of one table and it is the answer of this question 1455 taka right i hope you have understood this question okay dear student just like this one you shall solve from page number 19 2 and 5 number question i read the question to num uh, two number question the price of 12 plates and 20 cups total 3920 taka the price of one cup is 145 taka what is the price of one plate just like this one okay now five the price of two cows and three goats together is 45080 taka the price of one goat is 4560 taka what is the price of one cow so this also similar this one so my dear student i think you have easily understand this class and you can easily solve this math uh, or problem number two and five at home and as your sw okay i hope you all do your assign sw in sw copy and submit it regularly in our school campus in every saturday within 9 am to 4 pm so my dear student, please keep practicing at home, abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.